well, sweetie. You know, I'm really thankful that I have you beside me for so many years. I love you. Honey, I love you too. I know you do. Listen, I've been thinking about this for months. Seriously, sweetie, will you marry me? Oh, what a surprise! How sweet! But dear, I need to think twice about it. You know, I'm pretty serious about marrying. Yeah, yeah, certainly. So. Oh my God! This is so disgusting. Oh dear, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Okay, I'm sorry, but I don't have confidence in our future because you can't even find a decent restaurant for these important moments. I'm sorry. Bye bye. Sweetie, sweetie, how can this be? It must be the coffee. Where is the manager? You are in trouble. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ET's group head office. I'm Daniel. This is Joyce. Oh, regular weekly meeting again. I'm Arthur. Nice to meet you all. Good day. This is Emily. A settlement at meetings. I'm more technical in a sense, but they just need me present today. I'm William. I'm managing the ET cafe chain. Usually, I don't need to be here, but this time I think I'm in trouble. Oh, it seems that the meeting is about to start. Wish me good luck. Okay, we're all done with the routine stuff. Now let's come to the special issues about ET's cafe.、Um, a gentleman is complaining that our cafe fails him in proposing to a lady, and he he's trying to make us liable to that. Oh, I believe that we have the best Brazilian coffee beans. I am not looking forward to receiving a letter from the solicitor. Let's get to the point real quick. Who manages the cafe and who made the coffee? I'm the manager, and a Chinese made the coffee. We hired him last week. Aha! So you're the one. I'm sorry that I didn't train him very well. I will take this responsibility. I have told you. How can this happen? How can you be a manager? You should never let a trainee make coffees or prepare food. This will only cause trouble. The best solution will be to fire that trainee, and we'll get you downsized. I believe customer would be pleased to accept our apology. Okay, if this is the only solution, it's okay. We won't put all the blame on you. To be fair, it is extremely funny that not getting married because of a cup of coffee, we can be liable to that, right? <laughs> Frankly speaking, the fault is on William's side, cause he does not provide adequate training to the new hiring staff. But of course, we have to admit that most of our stores cannot afford to that, do that either. We didn't give them the resources. Can we do this? We can implement a new policy. From now on, only trained baristas can brew coffee. They have to go through internal training and qualification tests to be a barista. But this will probably increase our workload. We will have to train the staff all from nothing. We need to put a lot more resources in that. Why can't we simply fire the ones who are responsible and th- let this end? Joyce, of course there would be cost, but providing training is also a good way to minimize our liability in the future. Well, well, well. Having five of us sitting here to solve problems also costs us time and money in a way. Ah, ah that's, that's true. true. So, good news for you, William. You can keep your position. What do you think, Arthur? It looks good. Great. So we will send it out today. Oh, I can't believe this. I was not punished. <laughs> no, you were. See, your workload is increased. You will be responsible for arranging the test for everybody who works at the cafe, and you will have to pass the test and get the qualification yourself too. I'm not afraid of that, but I'm sorry that your workload has been increased because of this incident. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. I love coffee, but you really need to be more careful when you hire new staff next time.